Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sweet Time. My special guest today is Shayla Miller. Today we're going to be playing a game <laughs> of <laughs> Brain Warp Trivia Game. So we have these little cards, there's a question, there's three choices, and there's only one answer. Mm -hmm. So these are really hard because we tried two, and I'm like, nope, <laughs> I'm not that smart. This is basically Trivial Pursuit, but uh, littler. Like this is our board. Yeah, this is our little board. Hold on, hold on. Oh no, it's broke. Shayla, it's like this. We have these little triangles. At I broke it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, what is life? Tiny triangles as our little characters. Oh, it breaks all the time. Okay. This is Chelsea. So we have, we, yeah, so whoever answers five questions right first wins. Oh, and the oldest person asks questions first. Yes, yes. So and that is me. She's the old part. I'm an old part. <laughs> <clears throat> Which of the following is a common ingredient in lipstick? Honey, beeswax, or coffee? Ooh, okay. I, I feel like I should know this one. I don't think it's coffee. But honey and beeswax are both things that I've seen in, in like lipstick or mm -hmm. yeah, lipstick is what we're talking about. I want to say beeswax. Correct. Oh ding, my ding, God. Ding, ding. I can't believe, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have to put uh, the cards in a, a discard pile. Oh, but there's uh, questions on the other side. Whatever, throw, pff, it's fine. <laughs> okay. one, one, one time each, that's it. What is the word for the art of decorating Nope. <laughs> Hold on. Bot First of all, question <laughs> guru. If you could read it correctly, I might know the answer. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> what is the word for the art of decorative handwriting? Engraving, mm -hmm. calligraphy, or origami? Calligraphy. Wow, Sheila. You got that right. <laughs> Graphic designer. Mm -hmm. mm, moving it. I do like. I do feel like those were really actually quite good questions compared to what we got like earlier. Earlier it was like, <clears throat> what is this of the world? And I'm like, I don't know the world that well. Well, reading pre-reading this one. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of guessing good here. Good luck. Good luck. If you saw an iceberg, around what percent of its volume would be below the water's surface? Forty-five percent. Seventy-five percent. And nine or ninety percent, and to help you really get into the question, pretend you're the Titanic, and you spot an iceberg. How iceberg! <laughs> iceberg! Right ahead. Okay. I don't think it's forty-five percent because I I know that the iceberg is bigger below the water than it is on top. So it's not forty-five percent. What was the second one? Seventy-five or ninety. If I was the Titanic, and I saw an iceberg. I would say 90%. You crushed it! Oh, you oh, crushed it! You are the Titanic! Oh, they didn't true. take into consideration how much of the iceberg would have been under the water, and they thought that they passed it. That's true. They didn't have our trivial knowledge. Nope, should have had this game. Should have had brain warp. Which baby farm animal would you call a child? Kid. A goat? A pig? Or a horse? <laughs> A goat. You got that right, Kayla. <laughs> yeah. You got that right. Yes. <laughs> all right. 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 Okay. All the money. <laughs> Double down. <laughs> what okay. is the geometric term for a shape with four sides? Quadrilateral, polygon, or isosceles? Oh, I don't know. The no. Do I help you or do I? No, no, no. Don't help me. Okay. I shall not give you hints. Okay. Well, it's not a polygon. Correct, that's a Pokemon. That's right. I actually don't think it's the second one either. I'm going with the first, what was the first one? Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral, because it has the word qua in it. That's how I was gonna help her. <laughs> My bestie is so smart. Which was not one of Christopher Columbus's ships. Oh God. Santa Maria, El Nino, or Nina? Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> I'm gonna go with El Nino. Oh, it is! It's just Shayla! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny because you keep getting ones that relate to the Titanic. <laughs> Great! I don't but actually not, know that much about the Titanic. But it doesn't really, because the iceberg one was just, oh, an iceberg hit the Titanic. Yeah. But this <clears throat> one is not about the, really about the Titanic either, but it is because it's a ship. I'll take ships for 200. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Which term refers to the left side of the boat? 
Starboard, bow, or port. I don't know this. Iceberg, right ahead. <laughs> I see it. Uh, I don't think it's port. I want to say. Tell me. It's starboard. Board, starboard. Because you'd go to the left of the boat to gaze at the stars at night. So I'm going to say starboard. Starboard. I guess. <laughs> I'm going to say starboard. <laughs> starboard. It's port. I don't know what star. So, like, cause I re I remember the term hard to starboard, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, I remember <laughs> hearing the term hard to starboard. Who is the United? No. <laughs> Who? Never is... put question and ask her on your resume, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the only United States president to have served more than two terms? George Washington, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Or Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore. Burn! <laughs> Answer daily double? Lost. Lost. Who, but what was it? Oh, it was uh, the, the other Roosevelt. <gasps> the other Roosevelt, so Franklin. <laughs> yeah. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! Sorry, Shayla. Well, I see your question and I raise you this question. For which <sighs> of the following reasons is Susan B. Anthony recognized in history? Her efforts for women's rights, mm -hmm. her iconic singing, or her role as Secretary of State. What's her name? Susan B. Anthony. Clearly Secretary of State. That your final answer? Yes. Women's rights. <laughs> I don't know at all. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I, I have no idea who that person is. This is where we never get past. We're never going to get past two. What is the German word for moon? Luna, Mond, or Sonne? Mond. How did you know this? It was Mond. <laughs> I just guess because Mon. I my reasoning was because Mond is close to Moon, but like Loon's close to Moon in French. Yeah, Luna. Yeah, Luna yeah. is like French or maybe Spanish. And I'm then Sun's S more like Sun. Yeah. So I was like, no, didn't even get off the table. Oh, oh you're oh. getting ahead of me. Yeah, I gotta win. I gotta. I gotta answer one more question. I don't like this. I don't. Uh, maybe I'll look ahead a little bit. Let me see. Are you going to try to sabotage me? Just pick a random woman. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I was going to try to find one that you could get, but now... No, 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 no. I don't want a fair game. I want a competition. All right. All right. <laughs> Which of the following furry pet animals was considered sacred in ancient Egypt? Cat, mouse, or ferret? <laughs> Clearly the ferret. Cat! It's a cat. Were you almost going to say ferret? No, no, no. I, I want to see your reaction to that. <laughs> it's the cat. Correct. Okay, Shayla. Answer, Daily Double. Here we go. Who was the famous conductor of the Americas of America's Underground Railroad oh, in the 19th century? Harriet Beecher Stowe, Frederick Douglass, or Harriet Tubman? It's not Harriet Tubman. Then who is it? It's the one in the middle. Frederick Douglass? Yeah. It was Harriet Tubman. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following countries is the largest by area? Brazil, mm -hmm. India, mm -hmm. or Australia? But the largest by what? <laughs> There's the car away. Why would you Area. Go it's by area. <laughs> largest by area. Brazil, Do you know the Austra answer? <laughs> yeah. Brazil, Australia, or India. Is it Brazil? Yes. You win all. You. She won one, guys! I won! She won one! <laughs> I finally <gasps> won! You finally won. I'm so proud of you. You crushed it. Crushed it. Imagine if I would have just went with Harriet Tubman. You would have crushed it. <laughs> I was a little. I was that little, was actually kind of cool. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sweet Time. I feel smarter. I feel smarter too. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman. I should have to write an essay as punishment. I'm not doing that. 500 words. Never. That that's that not hard. a, that's that's not not a lot. lot of words. No. Yeah. 10,000 words. No. Hope you enjoyed that episode and we will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed spending your sweet time with us. Iceberg! Right ahead!